Hey everyone, welcome to day four of two weeks of techniques. It's the series that I'm doing for our new subscribers and people that are new to acrylic pouring and are just learning um, other things besides flip cups. So um, I do have two 9 by 12 canvases here already covered in my black base paint. That recipe for that paint is below the video. And the recipes for the bottled paints are also below the video. So let's get started. I'm going to place a paintbrush in between these two canvases. And we're going to pour a dirty ring pour across. And of course we'll tilt a little bit. We want to try to keep that middle section so it kind of matches. So I do have a little paper cup. And I have four colors I'm going to be using. Actually, I'm going to put a little black in there, too, for contrast, because we don't want to keep it all light colored. So let's start with a little bit of black. And I'm going to put the color all on one side of the cup, and you'll see as I pour. The next color we're going to use is the Folk Art Peridot Metallic. And then Deco Art Pearl. Liquitex Red Oxide and Craft Smart Gold Metallic. And we're going to go ahead and do it again. This bottle is stained orange from a red that we had in there, so the pearl is definitely a pearl color. <laughs> I need to change that because that throws me off when I'm picking colors. I think I'll end with a little bit of black, so that's going to try to be our first color out. Okay, so now I'm going to pinch my cup and I'm going to pour this way. And then you can move it around, you don't have to stay in one section. But this also keeps your paint from um, going down between the canvases. So I'm going to stop right here. Let that drip and I'm going to turn. Oh, that pearl really took off there. So before I do anything, I'm going to lift these up to get the color flowing. And then I'll take my paintbrush out. So all we do is tip. We're going to drag it down first. so I don't block your view. All right, I'm going to bring my paint back up to about the middle. And then I want to try to stretch this out. Now these paints have silicone, so we will have cells. I love that red oxide. It dries really pretty. Much darker than what you're seeing. It's not going to dry orange. Pearl is opening up just a little bit. We'll let some cells out. <clears throat> if I sound hoarse, it's the pollen. 
It's killing me this year. <laughs> All right, let me see when I torch. I may need to stretch that side just a little bit more, but we got a lot of cells trying to come up. Break that surface tension so it doesn't keep going. So when you, that happens and you just have a tiny edge, put your black back there and immediately tip and it'll break that surface tension. We do that with resin as well when we don't want the resin to go over the edge. Torching, try to stay about five to six inches away from your paint because you don't want to burn your paint. You'll get a skin on the top of it, and of course, the fumes are not good for you as well. I don't stand over my paintings, I lean back as I'm torching. I still need to break that surface tension on this one. going over on the other side. I think we got it. I may have to touch the other side now. <laughs> because I pushed it a little too far. Okay. So I think this looks pretty good. We have all those cells coming up. Let me stretch that a little bit more so it's a little more harmony there. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that'll be beautiful when they're dry. I am gonna airbrush the edges out real quick, um, just to give it a little more um, wispiness on the edges. And I'll probably end up taking that off the edges because I'm not, I can't break that surface tension. The paint is just too flowy. So let's hit this with the airbrush real quick. And we will be doing um, one video on airbrushing in our series uh, for doing flowers. That will probably be sometime next week. I'm trying to film these um, within like five days so I can get them loaded every day. that better. <laughs> I'm a wispy girl. I like things wispy. And that's already going over the edge, so we're good. Much better. All right, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Let me move these back and I can give you a peek. So subscribe if you haven't yet and click on that bell so you'll be notified when we upload our next videos. Click like and share. Leave a comment. 
um, share their, our videos on Pinterest and Instagram. We'll bring more people in. We're getting close to our 75,000 subscribers. So that will be giveaway time. <laughs> we do great prizes for our giveaways. And we'll be on our road to the 100,000 with our silver play button, which we are definitely, um, I'm yearning for it, let's say that. <laughs> Been doing this for over a year on YouTube, and it's time. It's time. So, um... If you have any questions, check out all the links below, um, all our contact information, purchasing our paintings. Uh, we have um, auctions usually about every five weeks we do an auction, four or five weeks, because we make so many paintings for videos and on our Monday Night Lives. And join our group, The Parage Posse. Um, all your questions can get answered there really quick. We have a lot of girls there that are artists as well. And most of them um, use my recipes and do my techniques, so they're able to help you too. But with that being said, this was day four of two weeks of techniques. And stay tuned. We have many more to come. Have yourselves a great day. Bye now.